Hello, welcome to this again. So like, iPad second generation, right? I've owned this thing since like December of last year, and I planned on releasing a video about it in January where, where I, you know, just jailbroke it and put a bunch of neat stuff on it. And then I lost most of the footage. So this thing's just been sitting around ever since. So originally in that video, I downgraded it to iOS 6 because iOS 6 is real neat. But you know, when I decided to, you know, install Windows on it for a video. I looked into my options of actually doing that. Turns out somebody ported DOSBox to iOS, but the oldest version I could find only supports down to iOS 8, so uh, I had to install iOS 8 on this thing. And while I was in the process of, you know, trying to get this thing jailbroken and everything working, I discovered that somebody had also ported Box or Boch, I don't know. Box. This is a program I found out about after the PSP series, because somebody had also ported this to the PSP. Apparently, it's a much better x86 emulator, and you know, it supports a whole lot more things than DOSBox. So I tried it, I tried getting it set up. I saw a, like, 12-year-old video of somebody running bare-bones Windows XP on an iPhone, and I copied their configuration, but they were using, like, a live CD version of Windows XP, and I thought that was just kind of cheating and would only make, like, a two-minute video, so... I tried putting the Windows XP installer on here, uh, you try opening it, it turns into the size of a P, and then it does nothing for like a minute. And then I don't know if it's in focus, but it says Windows Setup up here. Pull up the keyboard and, uh, first off, the keyboard is, is uh, vertical. Second, you know, nothing does anything. So I very quickly gave up on that. And because Boats the Rock over here isn't working, I'm going to be using iDOS 2 instead which is the DOSBox port I was talking about. And instead of Windows XP, I'm gonna install Windows 95. <laughs> Can you even see that command line? I don't know if the viewing angles on this thing are very good. I also really like the interface of this app, like, it, it just look, kinda looks cool. Okay, what if I add this Windows remote to the, to the, to the stack of things propping up the screen. Oh no. I'm gonna need another thing that's grippy. Luckily, I own multiple sets of boxed copies of Wii Sports Resort. Oh, I don't wanna use this one. This thing's still in its wrapping. Lucky for me, I also own an American copy. This one's not wrapped, so. Got a Wii remote that already has Wii Motion Plus inside. Now can I stack both of these? Uh, almost. I need something about the height of two Wii remotes. That works surprisingly well. I really should, like, 3D print a proper stand for these kind of things, and it's falling. Sick. Okay, what if I put this Wii Remote down here so it holds it in place? There we go. One of the most jank setups you'll ever see on this channel. And I don't even know if it fixed the problem. Alright, so I'm gonna be using the same method that I did in the PSP videos, and that is using a hard drive image, copying the Windows 95 setup files to said hard drive image, and then installing from those files on the hard drive image to the hard drive image. So I already have all the necessary files on here, and there they are. And I've also already set up the configuration file to hopefully work with this. And unlike the PSP video, I'm not going to be going back and forth, back and forth from my computer to this thing so I can, you know, change the auto exec to run all the commands for me, because I actually have a conventional way of typing now. Alright, drive D is mounted as the hard drive image. Alright, now I gotta go to the D drive. It froze. I think that's a good thing, because it's copying files. Oh, hey, all right. All right, now I gotta unmount both the drives, which instead of typing the unmount commands, I'm just gonna, you know, do do that. Reboot, cool. And then I need to mount to 2 gb dot image dash fs none dash size 512 comma 63 comma 64, 1023, go, nice. And then I need to boot from the C drive. I need the, I need the DOS boot disk that I have transferred onto here. Go, hey, all right. So far this is much faster than the PSP. Then I need to start it without CD-ROM support. And then C, colon, CD, win, 95. Now I'm in that folder. And I should just be able to type Setup. Go. Hey, alright. So far this is being much less of a fight than the PSP. Copying files needed. Oh. Hey, alright. Can I like... I can! The mouse is indeed movable. Continue. 
All right, yep, license agreement, I agree. Next. Next. All right. I would like a custom install because I want every, I, okay. Good to know the PC speaker is somewhat working. Yep, copy the files, and this might take a hot minute, judging by how it took a hot second for it to copy the ISO files from one place to another. Okay, well that took significantly longer than I thought it would take. Alright, finish. Uh, yeah, give it a shot. Yeah, and then it boots me back to- oh. <laughs> Something tells me I need to restart the thing. <laughs> This video is sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is an awesome website that specializes in custom PCB prototyping and assembly, as well as 3D printing and CNC machining, along with a bunch of other things. It's essentially your one-stop shop for any custom electronics you need for a project. What's that, you're not working on any projects and don't plan to for a long, long time? Well, that's fine, because PCBWay allows other people to share their designs that they've already created. And then when you find something interesting, you can just purchase it straight from the website. If you're feeling particularly clever, PCBWay is also currently hosting a project design contest, where you can win a lot of money along with some other prizes. If any of this sounds interesting to you, go to PCBWay.com or use the link in the description and get $5 off your first purchase. Now back to your regularly scheduled tomfoolery. This thing's battery is surprisingly intact. It sat there on the whole time, uncharged for like two hours, and it's only at 72%. I've left this thing in a drawer for like a month, and then turned it back on, and it still had battery. Oh, does that mean I need to remount that drive? Ugh, please tell me it's in the command history. Yes! Oh, that's fun. <laughs> oh. Hey, all right. It went black. Oh. You've got, oh, oh, no. Um. Oh no. Can I just press enter? Oh, nice. <laughs> All right, so current status, the mouse is a giant black square and we're setting up hardware. Oh no, it begins. <laughs> oh, nice details. Oh, uh, just, just ignore it. Oh, jeez. Oh, what are you doing here? An application, open. This worked in the PSP video. Well, I tried running Explorer, which in the last time I tried to do this, uh, it just continued on with the setup. So far, it's not doing anything. Oh, nice. Well, uh, what if I just close that? <laughs> Yo, I might, I, I might have to bring this hard drive image to my computer and finish it off there. Because, <laughs> uh, this thing is, uh, I don't, I don't think it's gonna get out of its incredibly broken state. I mean, I can, I can try opening Explorer again. Okay, yeah, this isn't going anywhere. Let me just, uh... I'll be right back. Okay, of course, the moment I stopped the recording, it... <laughs> unknown caused an invalid page fault in module unknown. Dang. What does that say? Something, something, your computer? Probably something about restarting my computer? Oh, jeez. Uh... <laughs> okay. Um, oh. Oh, it's doing stuff. Windows 95 is now setting up the control panel, which you can use if you want to adjust your computer settings later. I've never seen a Windows display, you know, mess up this badly. But we're at least getting through the setup now, it looks like. All it took was... What? Uh, huh? Why are we at the desktop now? Huh? <laughs> okay, welcome to Windows 95. All right. I don't think it liked the fact that I opened up, uh... Explorer. I'm just gonna like let this sit for a little bit. Just see if it can, you know, improve a little bit. I mean, I think this is what DOSBox on the Wii does when you try to install Windows 95. So, uh, okay, I don't think it's gonna get any further. I mean, it is running. There's just nothing in the start menu yet. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna let this sit for like 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, so it's been like 45 minutes and, uh, yeah, nothing, nothing's happened, so, uh, I'm gonna just see if I can restart this. <laughs> I would like to shut down the computer. Oh, it's... it's trying. End task. What? 
now you're actually doing the start menu stuff that I told you to do, like, an hour ago? I honestly have no idea what's going on. Oh, nice. Yeah, sure, close it. I don't know if anything's open anymore. I don't know. <laughs> oh, great. We're back. We're back here again. Is this is this taskbar even real? No, it's not. Crap, I think I just... I have no... Oh, I accidentally opened Explorer again. Okay. Did it finish making that? No, it did not finish making those start menu items. I'm tempted to just force restart this thing, because uh, I don't think I'm getting that setup window back. Yeah, I'm gonna just like... Do that. I just gotta do this. And then boot, go. We've got the splash screen. Is it gonna get past it? <laughs> oh, great, we're in scan disk. Oh, great, there's a damaged directory. Uh, yeah, try to fix it. Don't- don't make an undo disk. I don't- oh, no. And we're doing this again, alright. Something didn't illegal. Uh, close it and just spam return and hope it fixes itself. Oh, tasks is here again. Maybe I can, like, run calculator instead of explorer to just, like, reinvigorate it or something, I don't know. I think it opened calculator behind it. I see it somewhat down there, but I don't think I can actually get to it. Oh my god, it's calculator. Oh, I can move it. <laughs> That's one way of sort of refreshing the screen. Okay, let me try running Explorer again. Because, like, I think that was the closest we're gonna get to having this thing actually running without me having to cheat. <laughs> the moment I start Explorer, the setup just springs right back into action. Oh, something broke. I saw it. Can I, like, move this? Oh. I see... <laughs> Something. Can I, like, move this down here out of the swamp? No, it's not refreshing. Okay. Okay, uh, this isn't going anywhere. What if I, uh, bring back the tasks window? Try opening Explorer again. Task manager crashed. At least we have this. I don't know if it's actually doing anything, though. Okay, yeah, uh, this isn't going anywhere again. So, I'm gonna- I'm, I'm gonna actually bring this to my computer. I'm gonna try finishing setup on modern DOSBox and bringing it back to the iPad, see if I can at least get to the desktop. Alright, I'm on PC DOSBox now. This is the latest version of DOSBox, so hopefully it should be able to get through the actual setup. And I already have the hard drive image that I grabbed from the iPad mounted on here, and I should just be able to do, um, that. Nice. Oh no, not this again. Fine, fix it. Just... no. Uh, yeah, sure, fix it. I think I accidentally skipped that specific thing on the iPad, but... Oh, it's still doing the same thing. Oh, no. I thought this was- I thought this was a newer version of DOSBox. Is it a graphics driver problem? I'm pretty sure this was working perfectly fine when doing it with the PSP. I have no idea what's broken now. And this time, not even, like, the task window is showing up. Oh, there it is. Oh, it, it's actually doing stuff. Oh my god. That's... Those are time zones, alright. Um, uh... Central time. Apply. Okay. Uh, no, I'd, not, I'd rather not do printers. Uh... Cool. Well, uh, let me just bring this to the- let me- let me- let me bring this to the, uh, iPad real quick. Alright, I've transferred the file back to- to the iPad. Alright, when I hit enter, it might boot into the desktop. Oh, was that there before? <laughs> the Microsoft Internet Explorer thing? I don't remember if that was there before. Oh great, we're back in scan disk again. Oh, but this time it didn't actually have any issues. Fun. Oh, oh no, not again. <laughs> I got through the setup though, why are you- <laughs> No, don't! Uh, <laughs> Hopefully it's just this finding hardware thing. Cool, I, I love it when that happens. Cool. I'm thinking about just starting this in safe mode and hoping for the best. Why is it back in the setup? I thought I finished this! Hold on, I think I- did I transfer the wrong file? It's a possibility. Okay, great, right when I start- <laughs> Right when I stop the recording again, it actually starts doing the thing it was supposed to do. Like, a, an hour ago. We got a book and a pen, and the pen is writing. Oh my god. Okay, now we're actually in the time zone things. I don't know if this is the same, you know, image file that I pulled off my PC after setting things up on my PC. If it is, then I don't know why I'm doing this again. If it isn't, I don't know why it's actually working now. <laughs> cool. Well, uh, I think it's installed now. <laughs>
I just clicked the start button. It might take a hot second for it to actually do that. Can I at least open something out of the start menu? We're doing Minesweeper. Can I play my- oh jeez. <laughs> the screen is getting worse and worse by the second. <laughs> Alright, we got Minesweeper. Just- yep. Uh. This is dangerous. Uh. I'm- Is it- is this the screen not working? Or is it the- Or am I literally just not getting, like, any pockets? Um. Uh. <laughs> How have I not gotten a bomb yet? How in the world? Okay, that's a three. <laughs> okay, there we go. I think this thing just doesn't make any pockets, and I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Why did it- <laughs> Okay, also, like, half of the display up here is just up here. Is there any real purpose to doing this? Not really. Was it kind of fun? Yeah. But also, uh, don't do this. I- I had to upgrade my iOS 6 iPad to iOS 8. <laughs> sure, I can downgrade it again, but, like, man... <laughs> and yeah, was there any real point to this? Absolutely not, because you can do it on any modern iOS device because of the EU. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And thank you to my channel members, Tonk, Administrator, Thom, Vietnamese Cat, Tyler, The Gamer, Bob Smith, Zachary, Waterar, It's Netless, Unfound Render, Butterdog, Jangu, Brain Rotted Rat, Scarlet, Louis Langango, Nodic, Rottweiler, Tez Tech, Hedgehog Gamer, Antony, Lamp, Highway 11, Lily, Solar, Teletales, Justify 4K, LGTV, Chernobyl Dweller, Bill Cipher, Midnight Wave, Corbin Nickel, Erky, Celestner, Hello Yin Ho, Whale Tech, F3 Pie, Skyblocker, Henry Beat, Orson, Gamer Gator Does Tech, Melody, Kim, a user, normal Roblox player, is just Jay, Tomas, Mr. Muffin, and I. I'm Maurice, and with that, I'll be seeing you.